Geek. Good morning, <coughs> friends. <coughs> this is your pal. Jay Maddow, the internet marketing guru. I have a cold, so bear with me. <coughs> we'll talk today about briefly about um, <coughs> you as an entrepreneur, you have a website, right? Who owns that website? You may have a site that is being hosted by and managed by and updated by another agency who is your hosting company or maybe more than your hosting company. They do marketing on your site, such as search engine optimization. <laughs> but the question is, <coughs> who actually owns that site? The answer may not be as obvious as you think. You own the domain name, but <clears throat> you need to know if you have a contractual relationship for hosting and site updating and management. Who owns the site? When you when you terminate business relationships with that company, <clears throat> are they going to relinquish the site and site files back to you? It's your intellectual property, right? Even though they may have written the content that belongs to you, to you. There are a lot of companies that don't do that. They won't return the website to you because they want to sort of use it a little bit <coughs> as kidnapping to try and um, retain your business. Because they know what you're going to do <coughs> is you're going to take that site and you're going to go find another company to host it and do marketing on it. And they're going to lose that site. You lose your business to become a customer. So up front in negotiations, you need to know. And I'll be very blunt in asking the question: Who owns the site? You're gonna, even though they may host it on their server. When you end your business relationship and part ways, what happens to those site files? <coughs> and can they get them back? Does this become the property of your company? Or does this be has become some property that they keep and then you now have to leave if you want to leave, you don't have to, you don't have a site. Your domain name and you have to go rebuild the site and then upload it to that domain name. But now you don't have a web you don't have a website, you gotta get someone to build a site again from scratch and get your website up and running. That could be a significant a significant new cost to you. <coughs> the hiccups time. I won't go there. Could be a big significant cost to you. <coughs> Three thousand, six thousand, or more to go build a new site. Plus, it may take thirty days to do that, and that would be down to downtown for your business. So, understand who owns the site. That site documents, including content, imagery, <coughs> stock footage, and so on and <coughs> whether they are hosting it on their host, <coughs> excuse me, their server or a third party host, like they're hosting it on GoDaddy server on your behalf, <coughs> whereby they can go then just relinquish access to GoDaddy <coughs> for you. Um, <coughs> but you need to have access to those documents. Should that company be unwilling to cooperate in doing your website updates in a timely fashion and at a reasonable fee, you're at some point going to need to take that business elsewhere. But you just need to know, are they going to allow you to do that or are they going to be diff difficult about it? And that should be stipulated in the in initial contractual details. Okay. When you go and do your next round of website updates, <coughs> then you will need to. You will now, if you, uh, you change that to uh, <coughs> from that company to another individual or company, <coughs> make sure you make sure you're. 
you a don't have downtime of your website, people can st it's still up and running. So, work that's been done from a marketing perspective that drives traffic to that domain will still be able to see your contact information when they see your site appear online. And <coughs> that you are able to make website updates at the schedule and that's convenient for you. I've seen examples of someone saying, we have a hosting company, they allow two updates a month. <coughs> we want to do more updates than that because we, we want to do blog updates like on our blog page three or four times a month. Well, there's next to free men. And, you know, they want the company to provide them the co copy for that. And even if you submit it to them, they take another two weeks to upload it. You want to know their timelines for implementing all these things. <coughs> they say that drinking a glass of water helps with hiccups. I've been trying it for a day <coughs> for a day now. It hasn't been working for me. <coughs> So I'm just going to head and sound. We will continue talking. That uh, sounds silly with my hiccuping and coughing. Um, <coughs> ultimately, there's some. It's a, it's a control issue. You want control and ownership. You want to be able to know who manages the website. How available are they? How soon? Can, how soon can they make updates? Even if you provide them with that information to make those changes. Or if it's something like content, <coughs> or changing images, <coughs> or press release copy, or blog content, should be you should already determine in advance who's res responsible for researching and writing those copy pieces. How how long can you expect to wait to get, for it to get posted on relevant pages, and uh, <coughs> is that included in the the package you pay for, the host, hosting and marketing package, or are those pieces then uh, those pieces that need to be paid, sort of per piece. It's important to note so you can manage your marketing budget more appropriately. <coughs> I see a lot of companies that don't have answers to these questions. <coughs> you may be thinking of this of this as you can listen to me. See, a lot of companies don't get answers to these questions <coughs> until it's time, for whatever reason, where they where they want to move their site to another provider, another agency, another hosting company, <coughs> or what have you. And they may have been working with someone ten years prior to that, and now they're just learning. Oh, how does how does all of this work? What are the other company's procedures and processes for letting? <laughs> <coughs> letting you out of that contractual relationship and freeing up your website to be taken elsewhere. Again, hosting and agencies agency, agencies do this strategically because they're trying. There, it's also a control issue. <laughs> they want to prevent you from having all of the control, so that you could just call them one day and be, I'm I'm done with you guys. I'm dissatisfied. I'm taking my website somewhere else. They don't want to maintain the control. It's like, well, wait, it's not gonna be, we're not going to make that out that easy for you. We're going to maintain control of your website, all your site files, all your hosting, and so on. So if they decide they want to just flip a switch and shut your site down, <coughs> let's say for non payment, three months have gone by and they've received, received the payment, they may do just that. <coughs> so it's a control for them, they'll continue to receive money. It's a bit of a holding you hostage in that sense and also retaining you as a customer. <coughs> Especially knowing the fact that going elsewhere <coughs> is probably going to require you to make a new investment and obviously we'll build a new site and host it for you. And that could be as high as ten dollars or $12,000 <coughs> just to switch to another company and get a new website up. So, Light of my 
<clears throat> coal that I've got here. I will uh, leave it at that today, but something to think about with respect to <clears throat> your website. Who owns the domain? Who owns the, the site? <clears throat> who owns the files? Who owns the copy? Who provides the copy? copy? How many updates do you get every month with that company? When, how frequently can those updates be made? <coughs> Excuse me. And um, <coughs> and if you want to leave that business and that host and them hosting hosting it and an agency doing the marketing work on for digitally, you know, take that in house or take that to another agency. How will they let you ex exit that situation? <coughs> okay. Should have answers to all these questions you know, up, up front and engaging with them. They're signing, signing, telling you they're going to do this. You're asking, okay, in lieu of that, I have these questions for you. And ask them those, ask them those questions and hold them accountable to it. I'm Jay Madhead. Thanks for listening.